guys. So I wanted to try something that I saw. You can get double the tomatoes if you put the whole egg in there. You crack it. You know what? I'm just going to show you. So I know eggs are expensive, but I hope this works. I hope this doesn't go to waste. So grab your egg. This is my tomato tree right here. And so what it said is you want to dig under it. So I'm going to use my shitty shovel dig under it kind of right by the you know the main part of the by the roots under the roots crack your egg so i'm gonna crack it in here this okay, there it goes cracked crack the egg throw the yolk in there i wish it would have gone deeper but then you also keep the what's it called the egg shell in there too so i'm gonna kind of break it down it's supposed to make the tomato grow twice as big Ooh. But you want to make sure you cover that guys fingers crossed that it works and just for my personal you know just to see if it does grow this is what it's looking like right now it's super healthy it actually grew some flowers and i sprinkled the little seeds in spider and sprinkled the little leaves in there and then i cut it real quick i just wanted to show you guys i got three things in the mail from amazon and i wanted to show you one, I got Spider a, what is this called? A vest life jacket for the water. So she's never been in the water and I'm excited. You know, summer is approaching. So I figured I'm going to take her to the pool first probably and then see how that goes. I got her this little thing. So it's a life jacket essentially, you know, for dogs. So if she's in the water or she's struggling or whatever the case is, I can just grab her like this. And, you know, I like that. And looks looks good so far. You know, I can't really tell you if it's worth it because I just got it. But I'm going to see if it fits her. I picked a size S. So it should fit her. But <laughs> how does she look, guys? <laughs> it's not fully all together because I'm not trying to do it all together. But it looks pretty good. Spider, go along. Looks pretty good so far. <laughs> She's trying to bite it. Okay. And then you adjust the things, of course. Hold on. Can I see? Can I see? Thank you. I mean, so far it looks good. But obviously, I would have to test it in the water. Let's see. <gasps> Ooh. Lifted. Ooh. She says, I hate this. Spider. What is this? Where are we? Oh, I've never seen Sam before. Look, we're at the beach. Wow. Mm, it's wet. Then the next thing I got, which I'm really excited about, is these hair hair thing, hair curl thing. I've seen this all over TikTok, and I'm usually not one to be influenced by the internet, but guys, I really, I said, I said I wanted to spice things up with my hair this year, and I really meant it, but I don't know, and I got a green color. I have been debating to get this for a couple of weeks, but I just decided, why not, let me do it. I got a bunch of clear pots. For my starter plants just anything there's different sizes so there's a bunch of these little ones right here bigger ones right there kind of cup size I guess and then these really really bigger ones so I like that you know what I really really why I really wanted them is because you can see the roots this way so you know if there's root rot or anything going on there you can really see and you can see your roots grow and I love that and if you bottom feed you can see the water and I don't know, I'm a plant mom, so this was exciting. Okay, it is the next day, and now I'm gonna take these out. I know I didn't show you guys, but I did put these on overnight, so let's see. This year I said I was gonna do more with my hair, and I meant it, so hopefully this looks good. Oh god. Oh god, this does not. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so far. I don't see any results. That back one took me forever to put on too. Oh, Lord. I'm trying to 
be careful too. <laughs> this is not for people with textured hair because what's happening? Now what happened with my bangs? Um, okay, I'm gonna brush it out what I can brush out and I'll be back. I'm gonna try this again because for one I saw that you're supposed to have your hair damp and I didn't do that so maybe I'm the one who didn't follow directions. Sometimes it's you and not the product so maybe it was me. I'm gonna try it one more time. Another day, not today, but another day and then if I remember I'll show you. But, I mean... The bangs are cute, I guess. Besides that, everything else kind of looks the same. If not to us. Alright, y'all. So, it's another day. And another day, a new plant. So, I got this pink marble philodendron off of um, Kroger. And it was on sale for $6. I would say I'm responsible when it comes to buying plants and doing my research. Which I did before I left the store. But I was like, mm, I'm not sure. And I really can't find too much on the... This philodendron because it's apparently rare, which I really don't care. <laughs> but um, I just thought it was really beautiful. You guys see the pink tips? That's what really drew me to it. But also, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that it's also a pink princess. I'm confused if the pink princess and the pink marble are the same thing. I'm, I'm confused on that because every time I search up pink marble, pink princess comes up. So I don't know if this is the nickname and the real name is pink princess. I don't know, man. I'm I'm lost. Already ahead of the game. Took it out the pot. This is the little pot that it came in. But since I bought my clear ones from Amazon, I decided it's the same pot. Let me use this one. That way I can see the roots grow. And that way when I bought on feed, it can be magical. So when I put it in here, I think I will keep this uh, nursery pot, you know, just because why not? It's tiny. I really don't have a lot of tiny ones. And then this is from the tropical collection or tropic collection if you were curious look at this look at this <laughs> that's a beetle by the way it's not a roach it's a beetle i don't know we've been getting a lot of beetles over here look, she's just looking at it leave it leave it <laughs> leave it leave it some people are using different types of soil but honestly i'm gonna work with what i have and hopefully pray that it works i'm gonna be using this miracle glow potty mix and then i have this one this uh potty mix cactus palms and citrus the perlite i'm gonna do like a layer of each and then relayer mix my concoction and now i'm going to put it in here i really shouldn't have put that much the idea way i should have done halfway and then covered it after putting this in here if that makes sense i did my part as the mom now it's miss marble philodendron's turn to do her job and then i don't know if you guys can see but it's actually grown a new leaf but that's how it came so that's why i picked this one because it has hope i hope i'm gonna put it in here this is the little pot that it came with which honestly for six dollars i get this and this i'm pretty happy and this is what she looks like and yes i like to keep the tags because i have a bad memory there is a lot of progress that has been made with a lot of these plants so i'm not sure when the last time you saw my little collection so over here if you care <laughs> over here i have my string of hearts and uh, guys i actually picked this off off of the floor so that's why i tell y'all Go pick some shit up off the floor. Anywhere you can when you go shopping for leaves. If it's off the floor, do not pick things off of the plant, please. But yeah, it's actually doing really good. And I love the little hearts that it has. Now, a lot of people say it takes a long time to grow, which I don't mind. Then I have this one that I'm growing the roots for, which, I mean, it looks kind of ready. But I'm going to give it a couple more. I'm going to give it a couple more, maybe like a week. And then I can put it with the rest of my... Crisula, which I'll show you in a sec. Then I here I have my parsley. And then here, this is my marigold, which I thought it was not doing the best, but it actually is. It's growing a lot of new leaves. That's my photonia. My photonia is actually getting pretty big. 
when I first got her, she was half of that size. And she's getting big. I don't want to say she's dramatic, but when she's thirsty, she will let me know. She will go down. I don't know if you remember last time, or I don't know when the last time you saw my Monstera. This is a new Monstera, by the way. Spider ate up my entire Monstera plant. So this is a new one. And I also bought a little spray for dogs that they don't so they don't touch your plants and I sprayed it on my monstera. She will come near it but she hasn't bit any leaves off. Then again every time I leave I put her in the cage now because I don't trust her. I don't want to take that risk. And it's also growing two new leaves. So when I got her she wasn't growing two new leaves so I'm I feel like a you know proud plant mom moment. This is basil and can you guess it? I put hella seeds in there and it's out of control. It's it's out of control. I am embarrassed. This is the chrysula that I was telling you. I was waiting for the others to put them in here. And I just water this once a month, really. She's not high maintenance at all. And then this. I believe I found out that this is a... Um, what is it called? So that's that. And it's doing really good because when I first got it, it didn't have any flowers blooming on it. And now it does. Y'all see that? Mm. I think this is a jade plant. Pretty sure. I just moved my African Violet right there. But she's doing really good. Only because I have to water her every freaking day. She's <sighs> high maintenance. And then this is String of Pearls, I believe. I think so. That's pretty much it with this little area. My snake plant, she's snaking, you know. She's always doing her thing. She's, she's cool. She's chilling. My Calathea is actually growing a new leaf. Can you see it right there? Here, I'll zoom in. You see that right there? Mm -hmm. New leaf. Now, again, this is a fairly new plant for me. So, I can't tell you whether I like it or hate it. I honestly, it's cool. It's chilling. It hasn't given me any problems. She's doing really good. And I like how she closes her leaves at night. My golden pothos. I don't even know if it's a golden pothos. Um, this was gifted to me by one of my family members. And I tried to... So, I got it like three weeks ago, I want to say now, right? So I tried to bottom feed it two days ago, and it took no water. No water. So I have to do more research on this one to see how many times I should water it. Then my bird of paradise here, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared to check if it's dying because I spent too much money on her. And... This was the last new leaf, and that was it. That's pretty much the update with my indoor plants. How could I forget my annoyingly interesting peace lily? Let me tell you, every time I get a new leaf, like that's a new leaf right there, every time I get a new leaf, another leaf dies. My mom gave me two new plants. She gave me this, I don't know, I think it's some type of fern. Pretty sure. And then this is another African violet. She's obsessed with them. So she got me this one because I was in love with it. I mean, look at the patterns. Look at the leaf, you know? So the next thing that I want to work on is this rosemary. I want to make rosemary oil at home. And this is specifically rosemary prostate because I know a lot of people would like to know what it is exactly. This is rosemary prostate. So you're going to want to grab like four to five leaves of this and i'm just gonna i got my scissors right here i'm actually gonna let mine soak in the water that's in here for 10 minutes 10 15 minutes just because i do spray my uh, rosemary that's outside with some uh you know pet spray then what you're gonna want to do is drain all the water out and put it in a paper towel and, and dry it up now that you're left with this you know Pat it dry. Want to turn your stove on and add your olive oil here. I'm actually only going to use this uh, coconut oil because I don't have olive oil. I'm actually going to wait for it too. And I also see a lot of people using cloves, so I'm actually going to use some cloves for this. Now that that's melted, I am going to add my rosemary in there. And you kind of want to let this sit here for 20 to 30 minutes. Some people do it for longer. Just kind of eyeball it, you guys. You can also add anything else you want in it. If that makes sense, you can add some uh, essential oils. I'm not going to because when you look at the ingredients of any essential oils that always add other stuff and this is 
you know, that's why we're making this at home, to make it as natural as possible. While that's doing its thing, make sure you grab a bottle. This is actually already a hair bottle. This is a um, coconut oil for uh, another bottle that I had. So, uh, this is what I'm going to be using and get a, a little, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. You know, the thing to, the funnel, a funnel. Get a funnel for whenever it's ready. So, you want to get a strainer and you want to get your little thingy ready. Forgot to mention this. This is, of course, after letting it cool. So, let it cool first and then do this process. And if you want to take a note of today's date, some people put it in the fridge, some people don't care about the date. It's really all up to you. I'm actually going to be repotting this one, Sarah, because this is what happened last night. So I was like, hmm, okay, let me water this because it's very much dry, right? And I'm like, okay, let me just peek. I picked this up, kitchen, I picked this up, and guess what I see? Do y'all see that? Aerial root poking out, okay? So it's a uh, repot time, okay? Oh, uh, oh no. I'm sorry. Uh, I just skipped the freaking root. We're gonna actually have to put it in this pot. And I'm nervous to put it in this pot because. This is actually where my last monstera died. I'm trying to be gentle because I have a couple of new leaves growing on this monstera. Hopefully, only good things to come from here, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Happy gardening.